turn to colour in another. And throughout the year, an amazing array of creatures go about their life. They've adapted to a remarkable part of our planet. And yet, as pristine as the Arctic appears, all is not well. Never before has the far north been subjected to so many environmental crises. There's the ozone layer, now being seriously depleted. In both the air and in the water, industrial contaminants are threatening local populations and the ecosystems on which they depend. And global warming, induced by the greenhouse effect, is having visible repercussions. Many glaciers are now in catastrophic retreat. This global warming, as scientists warn us, is felt most acutely in the polar regions. And with the polar ice masses melting and the permafrost continuing to thaw, more than species and populations are at risk. Entire ecosystems are being affected. The impact on societies around the globe will be profound. This then is the story of the Arctic today. The spectacular frozen top end of our planet. The hardy wildlife that lives within it. And the very real threats to both. In this wildest Arctic. The frozen north of our planet covers a bewildering array of conditions and landscapes. Bordering the vast Arctic Ocean are countries and cultures as diverse as Greenland and Canada, through to Alaska.